product. Um, oh, I want to give it a, a, another product change. So this is like a product owner episode, right? So another product, when I was doing this reservation down here at Marriott, I was on the Marriott site and I was looking at the hotel that they're doing the class in. I thought it wasn't, you know, I, I reserved the room, tried to say I was going to have my family come down for one night and stay. So I went on site. It saved my two people, what time we're getting there, what the age groups are and all that kind of stuff and what dates. Well, they didn't have a room that I wanted that fit for my family. So I went back on the internet, looked around for another hotel and there was another brand Marriott that was similar um, and I checked it out. Now, what it didn't what it did is I found out it kept my information. So it kept my date, how many people, when I was checking and things like that. Um, and I hadn't logged in yet. So what I found it funny is that when I didn't find my hotel, you know, from a product owner standpoint, Marriott, what I would do, I was add a little line at the bottom of the screen. Here's some other Marriott hotels in the area that you might check and here's some room availability. So if the room's not here, I don't go to the internet and go find another hotel. So if you're a product owner at Marriott, there's a suggestion for you. You did a really good job coding it or you kept the information in the cache or however you did it. However, you should have kept me on your site the entire time and made recommendations because I was just looking for the two bed, two bed um, hotel room. So one more thing in your backlog. So add the ability to go look at other hotels if they're within a mile or two of the hotel. And with that, please like us, subscribe us. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please share with your friends. And you all have an awesome day and happy scrumming. Man, you are live. Hi, guys. This is Greg. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Just coming here from D.C.